score. Animal health average is 101%. They did extra credit. They're scoring higher than 100 on their tests. I don't even know how they're doing that. Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS. We just got a nice weekly income here. Ooh, and we got some animal and plant diversity scores, and they are really going up. Our plant health is not fantastic. I'm kind of curious as to why. Let's see here. Uh, do we have enough, like, pollinating critters, perhaps? Hmm. We could potentially put more down. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to have plenty of pollinators. Let's go ahead, though, because I remember I said I was going to do it the last time. Let's go ahead and open Zone 2. And that should be pretty cool. Because I think that will let us have, like, even more area? Not really sure how it works. Let's take a look real quick. I haven't actually opened any of these areas yet. So, to get into Zone 2, how do you actually get there? Let's kind of move, let's move our dude around here and take a look. Alright. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Ah, okay, it removed the wall. And now we have this big, long area to use. Holy cow. We have, like, a huge area at this point. We are going to put all kinds of stuff down today, guys. Holy crap. We're going to have to start moving big time. Let's go ahead and just... Let's just put our fast forwarding on real quick. And let's start putting stuff down everywhere. We've got so many trees and flowers and stuff. This is great. Let's go over here. Let's start and put down some more of these fig trees. Because they are creating a fantastic canopy for stuff. Put another one over here too. And let's go and put down some more ferns. Because I think we could always use more of these guys. They're probably like a staple of the uh, ecosystem where, where I'm currently at here. Let's go ahead and put some uh, right about here we go. Actually, that one's like in the water. I don't want that one there. Um, oh, I saw an area. There we go. Right about like that. Uh, we'll put a couple more. How can we do this? Put a couple more over here. Right like that. There we are. Now let's go ahead and get some guys over here. Let's do some pollinating critters. Where are they at? Ah, our blue morpho is pretty cool. And pollinates pretty much everything, so we definitely want to put him down. We'll grab him, and we'll put him right about over here. And then I'll go ahead and probably put another one down, like right over here as well. And let's start getting to the point where we can unlock some more animals. I want to start unlocking, like, the frog and the tortoise and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. And then we'll work all the way up to the big guys over here, like the cougar and the jaguar and whatever that is. The capybara? I think I pronounced that right. Now, we're going to need some ditrius destructors, I guess I'll call it. Let's go ahead and do these mushrooms. And we'll put these guys right about over here. And then we'll go ahead and throw down some more earthworms as well. We'll put these guys right about here. Everything looks pretty spaced at this point. Let's go ahead and take a look at our little zone that we've crafted. Yeah, it looks pretty darn good. Go ahead and click on our guys and see how they're doing. Our ecosystem zone is at 98 health, it looks like. So that's just fine. The occupancy is three of those guys. How are the ants doing? Man, the ant population is always flourishing, it looks like. How about over here? Oh, there's a couple of ants down, but not too bad. The... Kotamundi population is down a bit, so it looks like we're going to have to make sure that we put some additional guys out here. Everyone's hunger is totally fine, so that's good. I definitely want to get like some more ocelots and stuff, though. So let's go and put some more actual animals down, since we haven't done that yet. We put a lot of plants and a couple of pollinators and stuff down. Let's go ahead and put one of these guys down. Right about over here. That should be good. Oh, no, nope, over here, buddy. There you go. He's got plenty of food over there, too. And we'll go put his, uh, his medium-sized bro down over here as well. Let's put him closer to the water, maybe. Right about, like, over here. There we are. Now, these guys have, like, a... If you notice, these guys have, like, a big wandering area um, when I clicked on it. it. Their area of motion is so big. Now, what's interesting is that 
these agoutis don't really like um repopulate that fast let's put down some ants over here too i think al almost everything over here probably could snack on these ants i know for a fact the the agoutis can let's see if i can actually line this up correctly there we go all right now things are looking pretty packed gonna let my energy regenerate just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and keep kind of making areas on the coastline here let's go ahead and populate this little island i'd like to see that have some trees and stuff on it move over here to the trees and we'll start off with a couple of papayas on the sides like this i'm gonna do like a ring of papayas and i want to get like Probably like at least one strangler fig in the middle here. Let's go ahead and put this one down right about here. And if I can get two over here, that would be great. Oh, let's see if we can get this over here instead. There it is. Ah, yes. Do as I tell you. And now we almost have enough energy to get down another strangler fig. We'll go ahead and let our energy regenerate a little bit. There it is. And let's go ahead and put down one right here. That looks cool. Now let's go ahead and zoom in. Maybe we can take some real quick pictures of our area here. Now, if I can remember, I think you just click on this button and that is your picture taking ability. There it is. All right. And that's how you take a picture. Oh, we got some weekly income here for our animal and plant diversity, which is doing quite good. 15, 8, 3, 3, and 4, 7, 9. Great. Let's go ahead and unlock some more stuff then. We've got more coins. We could unlock the millipedes. We haven't unlocked those yet. Let me see what else we have over here in the creature area that we haven't unlocked. We also haven't unlocked stuff like the frog and the tortoise. Let's go unlock this tortoise because I think that would be really cool. And we'll go ahead and put one of him down real quick actually. We'll put him down eh, close to the water I guess. Put him down like over here where all these different plants are. He should be having a great time. We'll click on him in a little bit. Oh, 15 of them. And then we'll go over here and we'll unlock these millipedes so that we unlock all of the decomposers. Now let's go ahead and just check on these millipedes real quick. Let's go ahead and put some down. And then we'll read about them in the bio decks. Uh, where do I want to put some millipedes? We'll kind of put these guys uh, right over here, I guess. There we are. Now let's go ahead and read about these guys in the biodex for the millipedes. The millipedes eat detrius, which is ecological waste like dead skin, dead leaves, and other materials. Okay. Uh, many insectivores consider millipedes to be a tasty treat. Armadillos, turtles, small rodents, and birds. Excellent. Most millipedes try to protect themselves by curling into a ball or coil. Their backs are much tougher than their undersides, so this tactic works well against smaller predators. Got it. We don't have any birds yet either. I kind of want to get some birds down. What's going on over here? Ah, the group of Agudias have low health. Well, we're going to have to keep making those guys then for sure. I think we just put down a group over here. Um, we can probably put down another group, but let's go ahead and put down another set of tortoises like over here somewhere. I'd like to get them right about here. There we are. We'll get those tortoises being made over there. And while we're at it, we'll scroll on over here and put some more of these guys down since, man, their population gets weaned out fast. Actually, let's put these guys on this little island over here. There we go. A couple of guys on the island while we're over there. Let's put down some moths. We haven't put down a whole lot of moths over here. Oh, want to get this right about here. There we go. And now we'll go over to our plants and we'll put down some ferns and such too. And then we will... Prop, that's probably enough to like get rid of all the detrius over there. I assume it is. Let's see where we can put down these ferns. Oh, right on the coastline. That's nice. A couple of ferns over there. A couple of ferns up in here. Let's see if I can get them kind of in the middle. I would like to have them like right in the middle area. Uh, no. Let's see if we can get like a cluster of ferns instead. That would be nice. There we go. A nice cluster of ferns. How about over here? There we are. And then we'll put down some more papaya trees because I love papaya trees. These things look pretty neat. Right about here. Oh, there we go. Nice papaya tree right there. And let's go ahead and zoom in and see how our little island is doing at this point. Oh, yeah, the island's looking pretty darn good. 
moths are doing well. Our agutius. I, one of these days I'm going to look this word up on uh, dictionary.com or whatever and have them pronounce it for me. Are doing quite well. We've got plenty of ferns. Now I think what I want to do next is I want to get tokens or uh, Tito coins so that I can open up like another type of plant because I think that would be neat. Let's go over here to the yellowfoot tortoise and read about him. The yellowfoot tortoises are herbivores, though they do scavenge from time to time. Roots, leaves, berries, slow-moving insects are all part of the tortoise's diet. Oh, down here it says they have a sharp beak that helps them to tear off chunks of carrion. Ooh, that's interesting, I guess. Oh, they're closely related to red-footed tortoises. All right, I got the red-footed tortoises and the yellow-footed tortoises. That would make sense, which are also found in the Amazon basin. Other local names for the tortoise include the... Makakoi, Wayamo, and Jabuda. Interesting. So we're doing okay. I think we just lost a group of the little rodent guys, but that's just fine. We've got plenty of energy now. Oh, and if you notice, this is interesting. Our energy has gone up to 150 now. That's different. Let's go and put down some more papaya trees then, perhaps? I certainly don't mind doing that. Where can I put this papaya tree down? Where would where would it make you happy for me to put this down? Right next to the other one. All right. Let's put another... Let's put some pineapples over here, actually. There we are. And we'll put some more pineapples kind of over here as well. Because our tortoises would probably enjoy the pineapples, right? Yeah. Why not? 56 days until pollination is needed. Well, we've got plenty of pollinators all over the place. Let's see how our blue morphos are doing, actually. Oh, 20 and 20, 20 and 20. Those guys are doing great. These moths are doing great. Looks like there's a very little that you have to do with these guys, like these moths and stuff. Now, we don't have any armadillos. And I'd like to at least get a couple of those guys down on the ground. So let's go ahead and grab an armadillo and toss them on down. Actually, maybe we'll grab a couple of armadillos. Let's put one set of armadillos over here. And then we'll go ahead and put a second set of armadillos kind of over here. Let's see if I can find a spot for these guys. Let's move up a little bit. And plus, I think we can get some trees over here as well, too. Look at a little barren tree-wise tree up in here. Come on now, there's got to be some place. There we go, armadillos. There you go, guys. Now you have a place to live. Three packs of armadillos right next to one another. They're doing pretty good. The Ditrius level... Looks like everywhere is still right around one, so we're doing really good staying on top of that. Yeah, it looks like we're at one everywhere. That's fantastic. Ooh, it's pollinated, and it's blooming. Excellent. Our fig trees. Do your thing, guys. In fact, let's get some more strangler fig trees over here. The next tree that I'd like to unlock, um, let's see. These look pretty cool. This uh, Heliconia, I think it is. But there's also the Amazon flame tree. That sounds really cool. We're going to need 50 tokens, though, to actually be able to do that. So from this point, let's go ahead and put down some more strangler figs then. Go ahead and continue. Ah, weekly income. 23 tokens. 23 Tito coins. This is fantastic. Oh, our animal health average is 101%. They did extra credit. They're scoring higher than 100 on their tests. I don't even know how they're doing that. Let's put down another strangler fig as well right about let's see if we can get this thing where can we put this how about if i move back a little bit maybe we can put it a little bit further over here nope can't put it over there how about over here maybe we can get this one way over here there we are put one right there doing just great and a couple more papaya trees because gosh dang it I love papaya trees. Actually, let's build like a little papaya orchid orchard over here. Why not? Right? Let's see if we can get that there. There we go. Now, we can't line them up perfectly. We wouldn't want to because this is the rainforest, you know? You're not going to get perfect lines of papaya trees. There we go. We've got at least three down there now. Now, you can see it's kind of it's kind of barren over here. So, I really want to get like some additional animals and stuff over here as well. We have our armadillos. But maybe I can put another one of these little rodent guys over here. One of the things I'd like to see for this game is I would like to see these trees cast shadows. That would be pretty cool if we could have that. 
what do I want to put over here? I'll put one of these guys over here. I think they would do well next to the armadillos. Let me move out a little bit here. I kind of want to stay close by so I can actually see them populate because I think it's funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where can I put these guys? Anywhere over here? Oh, yep, right about here. There we go. Nope, right about there. All right, you really have to hit place correctly, and I'm not very good at doing that. In fact, let's put some fungus down over here as well. Another mushroom should go over great with these guys. Plus, it'll make sure to keep everything decomposing nicely. And that's our forest so far, guys. Looking all right. We've got all kinds of trees and animals and papayas and pineapples. These pineapple here are doing great. They've got tons of leaves and everything. The detrius level is down to one in all areas, it looks like. That's fantastic. The ferns are getting eaten a little bit. This guy over here is having a good time. Moths are doing great. Pineapples over here are really getting beat up, probably by these, these little guys over here. Maybe the tortoises. Um, and how are the ants doing? The ants are 200 out of 200. Those guys are doing just fine as well. All right, folks, until the next time, hope you guys are enjoying Tito Ecology. Stay foxy and much love.